What is up, YouTube? Fluttershy RLC, back with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team game. I've got the Ravens jerseys out here. My opponent's got those ugly Raiders jerseys, so I already know that I'm not going to enjoy this game. And I just, anytime I see someone with either the Broncos or the Raiders jerseys, I'm like, yep, I automatically do not like you. Uh, so anyways, guys, so we're here. You guys remember this stadium. This is um, with Steve Young. Again, you know, I, I after playing a season with Tony Romo, I was like, you know what, I really don't like him, so I decided to sell him. Uh, but, but hey, man, I got Steve Young out here, and Steve Young is definitely really, really good. But anyways, he's got the ball here out on offense first, been running the ball well, moving the ball pretty well. But on this play, he's going to just throw a lob streak deep at Marcus Peters is there for the INT. Don't test Marcus Peters, man. That Marcus Peters is just an absolute beast, man. Can't wait to see how he turns out in Kansas City. Uh, definitely a really good car, man. Him, Sean Smith, Eric Berry, Hussein Abdullah. Eric Berry, if he's healthy. Uh, definitely going to be um, a very, very good se secondary. The Chiefs the Chiefs definitely next year could be a team to you know uh, watch out for. Uh, so here, take a look at his team. 99 Vic, 95 Todd Gurley. Uh, he's got like the draft wide receivers, whatever. He's got that Tyrone Smith. Tyre, he, he's got like two Tyrone Smiths. He's got 99 um, Justin Houston. I get this. He has Team of the Week Cleo Mack. He has all-rookie Cleo Mack, golden ticket Cleo Mack, uh, golden ticket Patrick Peterson, golden ticket Charles Woodson. So he's got uh, no, he's got a really good team. And, you know, anytime you see someone that has three golden tickets uh, on their team, you definitely know that it's definitely going to be a bit of a struggle. Uh, but see, he threw an INT at the beginning of the game, so we get the ball back now, and we get the ball at half, so we definitely have to score here. And getting sacked by Cleo Mack definitely isn't helping. The Mack attack is real because he's got three Cleo Macks. Uh, and me being a Chiefs fan, you know, we – we played the Raiders twice this year, so uh, I got to, you know, watch Khalil Mack play twice. Uh, the, the the guy definitely is a beast, you know. I mean, I don't like the Raiders. I mean, I don't like their fans for the most part. Um, but, you know, I got to give a good player props. Khalil Mack is an absolute beast. And, you know what, the Raiders, I mean, you never know, man. They're, they're stocking up, man. The Raiders are looking like a pretty scary defense, you know, like they have been in the past. You know, so it's definitely going to be interesting to see, you know, how the how the, the Raiders do this next year because I, I I predict them to be kind of competing for uh, for the AFC West maybe um, maybe just the wild card. I mean I think uh, as long as Peyton's around uh, in the AFC West, the the Broncos are going to are going to win the division every time. I really just don't I don't see the Chiefs, the Chargers, the Raiders. I really don't see us getting anywhere as long as uh, Peyton's with the Broncos. Um, so, anyways, we take a field goal because I was, you know, I wasn't really too worried about his offense because he threw a lob streak and we just picked it like easily. Um, so I'm not too worried about his offense. So I'm just like, you know what, man? Let's just let's just take our three, give him the ball back. Hope our defense can come up with a huge stop again, and you know, ho hopefully add on to to this lead. Now, he's kind of dinking and. Duncan taking short little passes. I'm shocked he's not trying to be really mobile with Vic, uh, but he's not. And Marcus Peters is there again. Why would you test Marcus Peters, man? So Marcus Peters gets another pick, a second pick in the first half, man. Marcus Peters coming up clutch for us. So now we got to score. We score. It makes it a two-possession game, and then we get ball at half. So definitely a very crucial, crucial, crucial situation for us. So after a huge pass to Mike Ditka, now we're – and now he, now he gets – like those suction tackles are so weird. I never, like, get them, but for some reason everyone, like, gets them on me. I don't quite understand. And on third down and one, Ditka drops the pass. We try to run it up the middle with Steve Young, but we're stopped short on fourth down. We give him the ball back. Back. And now he has a chance to do s something right before the half. And uh, we definitely don't want that. Now, again, we're not too worried. We do get the ball at half. Uh, so, I mean, you know, it's not uh, like panic time yet. But we definitely do not want him to score. Um, and if he does score, don't let him take too much time off the clock. Give us a chance to go back out there on offense. Try to see if we can't do anything. And oh, I thought Trey Wayans had that pick, man. I, I thought he had it, but apparently he didn't. He's getting really close to scoring here. And look at this. He's got Todd Gurley. Man, I play with that Todd Gurley. Definitely a really, really good player. Uh, just, I don't know, just wasn't really fitting it in well with me. So, he, uh, you know, again, he's trying to run out the middle, trying to take some time off the clock. But we got the fumble. Now, we got our own Khalil Mack, but we only need one. And he picks up, and he and he causes the fumble, excuse me. Mean Joe Green picks it up. So now, 40 seconds left. Let's see if we can't, I mean, even, I'll take even a field goal out of this drive. Because, I mean, even that, you know, we get a touchdown 
after half, it's a 13 to zero lead. That's still a two possession game. Uh, so I'm definitely looking to you know at least score. I at least just want a field goal here. And with 30 seconds left, and still a long ways to go, I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that right now. We still have two timeouts. We just got to take a deep shot here on that play. I just wanted a short pass. Make sure we got the first down. And here we go, Kelvin Benjamin onto the opponent side of the field. So now 14 seconds left, one timeout. We're just going to throw it over to Mike Ditka, and Ditka is going to get us into field goal range. We're going to take our field goal right before half, go up 6 to nothing, and get the ball at half. So our offense, we got to come out here, man, and we got to score. Now he comes out an onside kick for some some reason, and it just bounces straight out of bounds. And uh, so we end up getting the ball, good field position. And Mike Ditka, man, Mike Ditka, an absolute beast. Best tight end in the game. Um, I just wish he was a little bit faster now now i finally and we throw a dumb pick i i don't know why like we, my players just don't seem to do that like if i'm not usering them they're not really making plays which i hate you know because i have to pretty much user like my entire defense in order to really get anything um and right there uh his receiver drops the ball now, that would have been a crucial reception had he had caught that but he didn't and we get the pick mac daddy again man he has three clail backs they haven't made a single play we got one clail mac and he's made two big plays for us already and right there oh man i just i, I cringe man i cringe i thought we'd have thrown a pick there but i kind of user uh julian edelman and we're able to uh, get the completed pass pick up the first down i'm putting on shoe clock i want to get out of this game safely man we're picking up another first down uh down to in uh, first and goal. Young rolling out the pocket. We find Mike Ditka back in the in the end of the end zone. Again, man, best tight end in Mutt. I don't care what any of y'all say. So anyway, so here, we're going to go for two, make it a 14-0 game. Look at Young. How did we rifle that ball into a Mario? I have no clue how we got that completion, but somehow we did. And so now, he's going to test Marcus Peters again. That's a bad idea. That's a hat trick for Marcus Peters, man. I don't know why the hell you would test Marcus Peters. He's got three picks on the day already. That's four interceptions total for us and five takeaways. And, I mean, again, that's the key. The takeaway is definitely what made the difference in this game. Now, true, it's still a close game, but the takeaways definitely helped our cause. Um, so, again, now a crucial first down on third down. So, now this is going to end the third quarter. And, again, just don't give up the ball. Do not give up the ball. Don't give him free turnovers, okay? Make him work for the ball back. I was right there. He just spears my player, and he drops the ball. Uh, so, anyways, what I want to say re really quick. Now, I mean, I don't normally ask this, but if anyone, anyone has any of the Dontari Poe Combine Warrior uh, collectibles, I would gladly take them, and I'll um, give you something in return. I'll give you either some coins, or I'll give you a card, or I'll give you a shout-out. Whatever you want. Um, just, you know, but I just really, I just need two of the pieces for that set. But they're not on the auction block. Literally, there's none on the auction block. So if you guys could definitely help me out there, I'd really appreciate it. Send me a message or just comment below. As now he gets a touchdown. So now, all of a sudden, the lead's not safe anymore because, he, you know, all he needs is the ball back and he can tie the game. So we're kind of panicking now. Uh, just do not give the ball up. Danny Amendola, the 88 overall um, team of the week i think or football outsiders or something uh he gets a nice catch there so now again man we're chewing clock moving down the field again do not turn over the ball just gotta just keep moving the ball keep picking up first downs and he will lose this game on third down and one steve young gets a crucial first down pretty much now we're just gonna just pretty much just chew the clock out now i don't know why we're passing it i guess i'm just worried that he's gonna hit stick me or something i'd rather just take my chances passing the ball uh, so right here you can see he's you know, like, you know, encroaching my players. And then right here, again, I'm telling you, I don't care. I mean, I won't say a single thing, but when you try to pause glitch me, that just that just sets me off. I absolutely hate people that pause glitch. I can't stand it. I think it's just the stupidest, dirtiest, underhand thing you can do. And it's just a loser thing to do. Like, you really have that much time. Like, I've literally had someone sit at their Xbox for seven hours pause glitching me just to try get a win in a virtual video game. I don't understand it. You can see his gamer tag there. Now you can see the messages that he sent to me. If you want to send this guy a message, you can if you want, you know, just kind of troll him a little bit. You can see I I wouldn't expect anything more out of a out of a Raiders fan than to say stupid stuff like this to me, you know, like I mean, I don't even know what FOH means and just you know, he's he speak you know, he speaks blabbermouth and I don't speak blabbermouth, like I'm not fluent in the blabbermouth language. Maybe you guys can help me decode what he's saying. I don't know, but um 
Um, at your own risk, though, because if you try to decode his messages, you just might become mentally retarded uh, like him. Uh, as you can see, I just have no idea what he's even talking about. But yeah, if you want to send him a message or if you want to link him the video and a message, go ahead. Anyways, guys, I'm Flourishy. I hope you enjoyed this Madden 15 Ultimate Team game. And uh, slap a like. And if you miss, be sure to hit this hater in the face uh, with a good uh, right hand or left hand, whichever one you choose. Or if you're ambidextrous, you can use both. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm Flourishy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out. Have a great day. I love you all. Thank you.